Good morning students. Today we will talk about algebraic expressions addition. Right. So in the last video also I have told something about your addition. So again I will be continuing from that addition topic only. So algebraic expressions addition. And of course subtraction. Yes. So when we are talking about the addition of two algebraic terms, it means ki we can add two algebraic terms if and only if, if they are like terms. And if the terms are unlike, we will write them as it is. For example, if I have to add a, 5a, 6a and 70. So here a, 5a, 6a are the like terms. So we will add a plus 5a plus 6a plus 7b. We have to add these four terms but here this, this, this are three are like terms and 7b is unlike terms. So what I do is I will add these three terms. How we will add? We will add the numerical part of this uh, of this terms. So this is 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 1 is what? 12a. And we will write 7b as it is. We will not add 7b in this. Similarly, if I have mentioned 2 plus 5a, what will be the answer? Because both are unlike terms. This is 5a. And it is only 2. So these again are unlike terms. So answer will be again 2 plus 5. Similarly, if I give you another example, 3x squared plus 2x squared plus 7x plus 9x plus 10 plus 15, say for example. So here these two are like terms, these two are like terms, these two are like terms. So, x square, x square, which are like terms whose variable parts are same. So, x square, x square, these are the like terms. So, 3 plus 2, 5 x square. Here, 7 plus 9, 16x. And here, 10 plus 15, that is equal to 25. So, it is also a like term. So, this is about the addition. Same thing happens to the subtraction also. Same thing happens to the subtraction also. If we are subtracting something, so the like terms only get subtracted. Otherwise, we remain it as it is whatever is mentioned in the question. For example, my question is subtract, subtract 5a from 6a. So, the answer will be 6a minus 5a. So, this is 1a or 1a, no need to write it also. So, you can write simply also. Okay. Similarly, question number 2 you can say subtract here I can take the uh, binomial terms. Subtract a plus b from 7a minus 8b. Okay, so here how will we will write it? 7a minus 8b may say how much I have to subtract? a plus b. Okay, so here it will be 7a minus 8b minus a minus b. Because here minus sign is there and this minus will be for both the terms. So that's why when we open the bracket this minus will be um, introduced in both the terms. So both the terms get the sign of negative. So it is 7a minus 8b minus a minus b. So it is 7a minus a. Again, I, I will be searching for the like terms. So 7a and a is the like term. So 7a minus a is what? 6a. And minus 8b minus b is what? Minus 9. So this is the answer. Right. So this is how we do the subtraction. 
more examples of the subtraction only. Uh, so another example I will give you. X square minus 5a x plus 5x plus 4 from 2x square minus 3x plus 50. So here I have given you the trinomial terms. So 2x square minus 3x plus 15 minus I will write these three terms in the bracket because all the three terms has to be subtracted not only x square. So that's why we have to keep this thing in the bracket. Now we open the bracket so this will come out as 2x square minus 3x plus 15 minus x square plus 5x minus 4. Now the sign of each and every terms get um, different um, um, change. So now again we will searching for the like terms. So it is 2x square minus x square is how much? x square. Now this minus 3x plus 5x. One sign is negative, another sign is positive. So what happens? The number gets subtracted and the sign of the bigger number. So 5 minus 3 is 2x. Here 15 minus 4, what is the value? 11. So this is the answer, right? So this is how we will do. There is another one uh, type. This is known as the row method of addition and subtraction. There is another method of column method for addition and subtraction. So I, I will now explain you about the column method of addition and subtraction. It is not mentioned in your a book but you just see how we will do that column method I write add a plus b and 5a plus 6bc so here students what I do is I will write these terms into the into the column format. How we will write? This is a plus b. So first of all I will write this a plus b over here. And then I will write the second binomial terms like 5a is like term jo hai. 5a is like term like a. So 5a will be write, written below a 6b should be written below b and now i will a coefficient is not nothing so we can write one so 1a plus 5a is how much 6a 1b plus 6b is how much 7b 6a plus 7b right so answer will be 6a plus 7b this format is known as column method another example i can give you again this is the addition only 2a minus 7b plus 6c, 3b plus 7c and um, what? 3a minus 10c. Okay. So here we are having three algebraic expression and we have to add these three. So we will write these three terms into the column format. So how we will write? 2a minus 7b plus 6c first and then I will write these terms in the second row. So 3b will should not be written in the near below 2a because 2a and 3b are not like terms. We will find where we will keep 3b. So 3b will be kept here. No sign means positive sign then plus 7c. Similarly this third one. Again, we will find where we will keep this 3a and where we will keep 10c. So, 3a will be kept below the a only. This is the vacant space. We will not write in anything below this. This is the first line. This is the second line. And in the third line, we will write 3a. And 10c, not below b. 10c, was c wale column mein. Okay, so minus 10c. Now I will add all these three. 
So 2a plus 3a is how much? 5a. Neither minus 7 plus 3. One is negative, one another is positive. So this is minus 4b. And here first two terms are added and the third will be subtracted. So 6 plus 7 is 13 and 13 minus 10 is how much? 3. So the answer is 3. 5a minus 4b plus 3c. Is that okay? Now, so this is about the addition. Similarly, we can do the subtraction also. Let us take the same example only, but I will take the subtraction part. Here, I will write subtract a plus b from 5a plus 6b. So, subtraction rule, subtraction rule you people know. Ki we will write not this first as in the first row. We will write this one in the first row. So, 5a plus 6b in the first row. Or a plus b ko kya karenge? In the second row we will keep. Just having like term ke niche hi lik dena hai. A ke niche A wala term, B ke niche B wala term, C ke niche C wala term and like so on. So here it is A yaha pe and then put we will put B over here. And then we have to subtract student. So here one thing we have to do is as because this is the we are subtracting. So the sign of the second terms will be changed. So in this if it is there is no sign this means plus so we will be not seeing this term for the second row we will be adding 5 minus 1 so this is what 4a and similarly here also we will be 6 minus 1 5b 4a plus 5b is the answer right so this is how we will do the subtraction and addition. Now come to the exercise part students. First and second I have told you to give the, do as the homework but uh, in the doubt classes I come to know that some uh, still some students are doing the exponential part only they have not completed exercise 5a so students this is again in request complete all those exercises of exponent and then start exercise doing 6a also and after this video you people can you people can do um, um, this uh, x question number one question number two question number three also question number four also question number five and then 6, yes, of course, 6 till 6, you people can easily do. Now, what I do right now is, uh, we can do complete certain questions right now. Yes, students. So, I will be doing question number 3 here. Subtract. 2a minus 3b plus c from the sum of this, this and this. There are three numbers they have given. We have to add and then subtract the um, given exponential uh, algebraic term. So what is the question number 2 says? Ki sum of a plus 3b minus 4c. I will do it through the column method. 4a minus b plus 9c and minus 2b. So 2b should not be written over here. Minus 2b should be written over here. Plus 3c and minus a here. Have you seen the beauty of this column method? First I have written 2b, 3c. 2b is written first but I have not written the first because like terms have to be written properly. So 2b I have written in the second column and then 3c and then a in the first column. Howsoever it is given in the last but still I have given I have written over here. Now I will add these three terms so it will be added properly to me. So here it is 
nothing is mentioned so 1 so 1 plus 4 5 again 5 minus 1 is how much 4 here 3 minus 1 2 2 minus 2 0 b whatever sign you want to keep minus 4 plus 9 5 c and 5 c plus 3 c 8 c because this is 0 no need to write so the answer will be 4a plus 8c. And now what we have to subtract 2a minus 3b from c. So from here we have to subtract 2a, 4a plus 8c. May say how much we have to subtract 2a minus 3b plus 4c. Now minus because we are subtracting the sign will change. So this will become 2a and this will become 4b, 4b not 4b, this is only one number is there. So it is 3b and here it is 4c. So the required answer is like this. Okay. So this is by the column method. And again I will do the same question in the row method also. So first of all I will write sum of this 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 so how i will do sum of a plus 3b minus 4c plus 4a minus b plus 9c plus minus 2b plus 3c minus a so first i will add so, I will keep all the like terms together. So, it is A plus 4A minus A. Then, 3B minus B minus 2B. And then, minus 4C plus 9C plus 3C. So, here again, 1 plus 4, 5. 5 minus A is 4A. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 minus 2. 0. No need to write 0. 9 minus 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8c. And now we have to, in the second part, we have to subtract. Subtract 2a minus 3b plus 4c from 4a plus 8c. So this can be written as 4a plus 8c minus 2a minus 3b plus 4c okay and then 4a plus 8c minus 2a plus 3b minus 4c so here 4a and 2a are the like terms so 4a minus 2a b only single term and 8c minus 4c 4a minus 2a is how much 2a, 3b and here 4c. This is how we do the question. So that's all for today's students. So we will be um, doing all the questions of exercise 6a. If you have any doubt, please inform me. I will do the needful. Right students? Good. Goodbye.